the 10th of March 2008 12 p.m. Greencastle, Indiana in fall of last year, my father sighted a large craft flying slowly over our house after midnight. We've both seen this craft several times since, but the sighting stopped before New Year's 2008. Around March 10th of this year, I heard the same sound that accompanied this craft over our house again. It was shortly after midnight, and I was watching television inside. I ran outside, and saw the craft over the house. I thought it was military, but it was too large to be of Earth origin. It was Y-shaped, 100 yards long, but moved slowly, almost in a hover. It was dark, covered with what resembled hull plating, and had a large band of blue lights along its midsection. It made a sound like a very low hum, which you could feel in your chest. The craft hovered for a few minutes, then moved slowly from west to east, until it was no longer in my range of vision. The first time it was sighted, we were perplexed. Now we're concerned, because of the frequency of the sightings since. The craft seemed very interested in our residents and our neighbors. On every night before we've seen the craft, we felt like we were being watched. The feeling that makes the hair on your neck stand on end. Bainbridge, Indiana in the middle of November of 2008 at approximately noon. I was walking on a country road near my residence when I observed a rectangular, silver craft the size of a single-engine Cessna flying west to east at an altitude of less than 500 feet. It moved slowly, not maneuvering, and at first I thought it was a small private jet. Then I observed that the craft had no contrail behind it and made no noise whatsoever. I watched the craft for 10 minutes until it flew out of my range of vision. This is the third time a UFO has flown at low altitude within a quarter of a mile of my residence. Greencastle, Indiana Saturday March 21st. At about 4.30 to 4.35 p.m. I decided to try to retrieve golf balls that I knew I had sliced off into the field in question the balls had been there since last fall but are hard to find due to the fact our field in this county are no till. After finding four golf balls and knowing there were more, I ventured somewhere 110 feet further back into the field came across a 12-foot in diameter circle. I returned home grabbed my Sony Handycam and returned to the location of the circle photographed and took video of the said circle I returned to the area around 5 p.m. after inspecting it to be sure I wasn't just seeing what I wanted to see or that it might be something explainable I returned home showed the photos to my mother. She then proceeds to tell me she could swear she saw something strange in the sky to the northwest of our home in the sky, I cannot on the other hand confirm this myself. In other word, I did not see this object. After reviewing the photos and video clips I called a close friend told him I had found something I wanted to get his opinion at about 7.30, we left my home headed to the site I waited to discuss the situation with him until we arrived. We took more video measured the area and took soil samples while taking video for evidence one sample within the circular pattern and one soil sample from just outside. The circular pattern was completely dry while outside of it was damp or moist, this is visible in one of my photos that I will attach to this report, it looked as if someone lay a round pattern on the ground and dried the inner part with a hair dryer making a perfect dry pattern in the end. There is a pile of dead corn stalks and bean stalks inside the circle that seem to show evidence of a swirl pattern, not well defined but seems to be a slight swirl. To the outer part of the circle the story is different there's an inch or more of plant matter that has been moved in what looks to be an evident swirl pattern around said area. There is more but I'm out of room here. We returned on the 22nd with metal detector compass and a stud finder to test for anything abnormal we got nothing with the metal detector or compass the stud finder on the other hand acted strange which I did not expecting this means nothing to me it was just an idea in this with a if there is anything that you may want to know further you are welcome to contact me though I do not want to be hounded by outside sources other than MUFON and or MUFON investigators in short what I'm saying here is that I don't desire having government officials pulling into my driveway thinking they're going to take my camera because I stumbled into something that I may have not been meant to see. So I'm opting the circle below to not have any other person other than a MUFON representative or investigator to have my contact info and would be glad to answer any questions just to look at the pictures below and tell me is this no. At approximately 2215 EDT, 
July 5, 2009, an orange-colored light appeared in the sky over Greencastle, Indiana after a delayed Independence Day fireworks display. The object was at Ap. 5,000 feet altitude traveling a straight and level course southbound towards the town of Cloverdale at an estimated speed of 100 miles per hour. When the object was directly overhead, we observed the object appeared to be circular or saucer-shaped with 10 to 12 orange lights surrounding the rim. No sound could be heard from the object. We watched it until it disappeared to the south. No more than two minutes later another object appeared of the same size, shape, and light color and configuration as the first. The second object was traveling what appeared to be the same course and speed as the first and at the same altitude. We watched that object until it disappeared on the horizon the same as the first. On my way to work sometime in the middle of October I observed a UFO orb ascend from a tree line about 2 miles from my house. It hovered for 30 seconds then continued to rise it reflected off the clouds and as it entered the clouds it was bright enough the clouds lit up then it was gone. It made no sound but then again I was at least 2.5 miles away from it. I would never have noticed it if I hadn't seen a deer that was running toward the road in the field I was passing. The 1st of February 2012, 8 p.m. I was driving on 36 between Bainbridge and Greencastle heading towards Danville. I looked up in the sky and saw a very bright light. I thought to myself that was a bright light then noticed it wasn't moving. So then I was thinking it must be on top of a tower. Then the closer I got I kept looking for the tower and realized there no tower. I looked back up at the light and it changes shape. The bottom part went into a point like a diamond the top stayed round. Then on each side a small round spark shot out slowly at a arch. I was going to pull over to try to record it on my phone but there was a card behind me. So I went up a little bit and turned around on a side road. It took 10 to 20 seconds. When I got turned around looked up in the area it was and it was gone. The 17th of November 2012 4am real school, Indiana outside of my home. Noticed three lights moving east. Not commercial aircraft, no wing or belly lights. Traveling in zigzag pattern. Two lights due west and a third about 5 to 10 degrees north of west. Steady lights, other aircraft within view for comparison. Several meteors falling at this time. After watching about 20 minutes, lights still in general area and still moving erratically in a easterly direction. Did not stay outside to witness end of event. The 11th of April 2013 12 a.m. Coatesville, Indiana I would like to start by stating for the record that I am prior service military and am a trained observer. I was sitting in my bedroom at approximately 12.30 a.m. with my window open when I heard a jet engine-like sound. I looked out of my window and observed a dark craft of triangular shape flying roughly 100 feet above treetop level, moving steadily along a southwest heading. It had a red signal light at the center of its ventral surface and white running lights on all three points. I thought it was an aircraft in distress because there are no airfields near my house, and it displayed what appeared to be landing lights. I assumed it was an aircraft making an emergency landing. I immediately ran outside. I live in a residential lake of respectable size, with houses close together. While looking for the craft, I saw three more craft of the exact same configuration at approximately the same altitude, 100 feet above treetop, and all of them were following the same southwest heading. One passed over my house and I clearly saw a dark hall. It was a solid craft. I am a believer in extraterrestrial life but I have never witnessed a UFO before tonight. I am both confused and excited. I lost sight of all four craft as they continued along their heading and out of my line of sight. The 2nd of May 2013 12 AM Coatesville, Indiana I have posted here before about multiple triangular craft flying at low altitude above a residential lake where I live. This activity is becoming more frequent, and I know that I am not the only witness who lives in this lake. These craft appear triangular and solid with bright white lights resembling searchlights on its ventral surface, as well as white and red running lights that flash sequentially. They maintain a more or less straight flight path and fly at very low altitude, less than 500 feet from ground level. 
I am obviously excited and curious, as this isn't the first sign of UFO activity near this area. 